oh my god, you guys, Master Duel, can't believe I'm saying that, is making so much money. It's so fantastic. The world is all rainbows. In Japan. The game is going to keep growing. Things are going to be spectacular. People are going to be able to top YCSs and win after playing Master Boo Boo Stain. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's growing. It's blowing up. It's just so fantastic. In Japan. As you just saw, Master Boo Boo Stain is only doing well in Japan. What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel-Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain. Oh, that subscribe button swing keep on climbing up the 1100 ladder currently sitting at 1134 subscribers hope you're having a fantastic day really do appreciate all of the support so i want to talk about this dumbass article that came out finally i can cuss i got to get through the first 30 seconds of the video because i need to add revenue to help pay for my medical bills and my cancer treatment so as i've talked about before but thank you for all the support regardless so i want to talk about this uh master shits uh proper name uh with the the profit margins because a bunch of people have been freaking out on YouTube the past few days. Oh, Master Shits is doing so well and blah, 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 blah. Obviously, they're not saying Master Shits, but I refuse to call it by its real name unless it's in the first first 30 seconds where I have to be like Master Duel. Uh, but I don't think that this profit thing is a huge big fucking deal because clearly it's only making money in Japan. So let's dive on into this here. I want to read just some snippets of this article. Um, this is from a Japanese website called Sensor Tower. So it had to get translated to English. So some things are a bit off. So let's just go ahead and dive on into it here. Uh, according to Sensor Towers, store intelligence data, the mobile version of Master Shits generated more than $20, $22 million in revenue in one. It's probably like over $20 million in one year because Master Shits is a year old, even though it should go die in a fire, even if it's just a year old. Looking at revenue share by market, Japan ranks first with 3%. This is where the translation is kind of weird because it says Japan ranks first with 3%. The United States is second with 1% and South Korea is third with 77%. But if the profit share is supposed to be the higher number, then South Korea would be first. But they're saying that Japan is first. So I'm going to take it as like a translation error that like Japan has made the most amount of revenue percentage wise in one year compared to the U.S., which is second. Now, in the chart here, they show over 70%. Now, obviously, this has to be for South Korea, but I don't know why when they're saying that Japan is first in the profit margin wise. So besides all that, the point that I want to make here is that the majority of money is being made in Japan. No shit. The majority of Japanese companies, Konami, Sony, whatever, always make a bunch of money in Japan because there's some sort of like cultural thing in Japan that I've noticed throughout the years, whether it's in the gaming community or otherwise, that the Japanese uh, culture support Japanese companies very well you know you look at like sony with like the ps4 and the ps5 sell like fucking hot cakes over in japan you look at microsoft a u.s based company trying to sell their xbox in japan it goes straight down the shitter they do not do well in japan for years ever since the original xbox they have never done well in japan Probably just because of the fact Japan doesn't give a fuck about U.S.-based companies. But if you're Japan-based, yeah, they're going to buy your shit. You could put a doo-doo stain on a stick and put some salsa on it, and they will buy that shit. Now, obviously, this isn't every single Japanese person or every single person in Asian culture. I just feel like that that's like what the majority of the culture is. On top of that, mobile gaming, and this is specifically what they're talking about, is the Master Shits mobile version. Mobile gaming is very big in Japan. Like, for whatever reason, a lot of people in Japan and Asian cultures and stuff like the gacha games like you know Genshin Impact which I know is notoriously known for being a gacha game like apparently it's really fun but it's also a gacha game because you got to pay money or as they call it like whales where they just throw dollar after dollar after dollar at the at the fucking free-to-play game meanwhile they're making millions of dollars off of these whales to get all of the free shit that they want or all the paid shit what am I even saying and so people are like oh Master Duel's Ma Master Duel ugh. Master Shits is doing so well blah 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 and it's like bro United States is in second place who knows how much they've fallen off since the game came out a year ago and Japan is ranked first and you know why Japan is ranked first because Master Shits is best of fucking one you know what YCS Osaka Japan was take 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 a quick guess 
best of fucking one. So Master Shits is more of an official simulator in Japan than it is in the United States because they're used to best of, of one. Like they're, they're used to this shit at this point. And that's hilarious to me that like people think that this is such a good thing when it's not. It's fucking garbage. And it, it makes me think like... These people that are cheering for this got to be taking that Konami, you know what, just balls deep in the back row because like there's no other way that you can be positive about this game. This game is not good in any sense of the term. And to me, like it, it makes me question why people are still playing this game. Like is it is it just because the fact that like it's supposed to be an official simulator, even though it's fucking not and you have to pay to get cards, you got to pay for all these different gems and shit like it, it's hilarious to me. And like the game is damn slow. Like my dad has been playing it recently just for whatever reason, I guess. And so he's like, yeah, let me, let me show you this replay. Let me show you this replay. And it's like, it's a replay that doesn't even fucking matter. And uh, I'm watching it and I put it on like two times speed or whatever. And it's still goddamn slow. And it's like, why is this game so unbearable? So I'd rather go clip my toenails than watch the game or even play it because I can get that shit done faster than one replay on Master Boo Boo Stain. Like, I don't, I don't understand why people still play this game. Like, I've said video after video after video that this game is dog shit. And I don't know how many more I have to make, although I continuously will because this is fun as hell to me. I will continuously talk about how garbage this game is and why it shouldn't be making a dime because there's nothing to it. There's no sustenance to it. And it makes me wonder, like, if we could have, like, if Konami would have let us, like, track the the downloads and the amount of money that they were making throughout the first year, like, if the United States was in first and then dropped off. Because, again, this is the mobile version. They're not counting PC. They're not counting console. And we can see on the Steam charts the PC numbers. This game exploded like a DBZ power level and then dropped like a rock. And it's been on the decline ever since because people think that the game is dog shit whether it's because the old school players like don't like link summoning and pendulum summoning and all the other shit or just because they got fucking bored with the game and they got tired of like trying to play the game and then either the other player is self ftking themselves because they just want to get the rewards or they just like want to play a hyper competitive deck and they don't want to be hyper competitive which is like I get it, it's whatever, but like this is Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2023, like welcome to it. Like as I've said in like all of my comments on my Master Duel is Terrible video, uh, people are like, oh, there's summon five monsters in one turn, uh, and I'm just like, welcome to Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Because that's all it fucking is now. Not every deck does that, like especially in this format, but still. So uh, like, okay, United States is second, good for them. Like it still doesn't matter. It's best of one, which again, Japan is used to. The United States plays matches. Like in all of our YCSs, we play fucking matches. Best of one, you don't get the chance to side. You don't get the chance to do all this shit that I've talked about ad nauseum. And I think it's just hilarious to me in the broad scheme of things that people think that this is such a great thing when it's not. We are giving support to a product that is dog shit and that Konami just thinks that they can take a dump out of their butthole of a product like this and expect to get away with it when it's like no i want a good product and in japan again mobile gaming is a big thing there you know if you're like gojo and jujitsu kaisen taking the bullet train ride home on the bullet train ride home you bust out your phone you start playing on master shits maybe you get a couple wins then before you know it you're at home off your train watching harvest moon sailor moon whatever the fuck <laughs> so like it's big in that culture you know like not everybody is going to be buying a console you know and it it shows here in the data, like they kind of break it down like 25 to 34 years old and stuff like that. That that stuff doesn't really matter. Um, they talk about how it's like in the top ranks after one year and whatever. And again, like if Japan's leading the charge, that's no surprise because that's the culture, you know, like they're going to support a Japanese based company. I would be more interested to see all the consoles combined all over the world, where is it that it's leading? I still think it would be Japan. And I think that the United States and Europe would actually drop a little bit because even Europe was in like third or fourth on this chart here. So it just makes no sense to me why people think that this is a good thing when it goes to show that it's only popular in Japan because they're used to playing best of one. You go to a YCS in Japan, you play best of one and you get max C and all that other idiotic shit that we don't want here in the TCG. So guys, I just want to make this little fun video here talking about this data. I think it's hilarious to me. I, I still just want the game to die off. It doesn't matter to me. Like the game is hot dog water. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.